This is important. <laughs> this music's really quiet. Bill. <laughs> Copyright disclaimer. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. Today, I'm going to be listening to the music of Orville Peck for the... Orville. Yeah. Why am I... Bill, calm down. <laughs> breathe, buddy, breathe. I'm going to be listening to the music of Orville Peck for the first time. Don't forget to like the video if you did, subscribe if you want more, ring the bell, blah, 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 you get it. I'm always the most tentative to do country music because I know the least about it. The only country music I know is whatever my dad would play drunkenly in his garage. <sighs> and this could have been a great Father's Day reference. Man, I really should have made this video in June. My stupid allergies. Okay, anyway. So I know some classic country and then anything that has to do with margaritas, Pina Coladas or 9-11, which is an awful name for my country album. <laughs> so yeah, in the spirit of trying new things, which is the whole point of my channel, why not go out of my comfort zone even more? So yeah, like I said, listening to the music of Orville Peck for the first time with no context, one listen to the lyrics page. I may not know much about country, but that's a pretty big deal. We're starting with Orville Peck and Willie Nelson's Cowboys Are Frequently Secretly Fond of Each Other, the official video. That's a mouthful, but it kind of rolls. Cowboys Are Frequently Secretly Fond of Each Other. Oh yeah, doesn't he wear a mask? Mask singer, singer, something joke. Out on the plains of West Texas. Ooh. There's many a young boy who feels things he can't comprehend. Oh. Well, yeah, I figured. No small town don't like it when a cowboy has feelings for men. Damn. I mean, yeah. Holy shit, that's really Willie Nelson. That's really Willie. What did you think all them saddles and boots was about? <laughs> Ooh. And inside every cowboy, there's a lady that loved to slip out. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, toxic masculinity being boxed in by feminine things as well for women. Hell yeah. I'd say vibes, but it, we've been very direct. And mostly that someone's the first one to get shot down dead. Who shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Cowboys are frequently secretly fond of each huh. other. <laughs> God damn. And inside every lady, there's a cowboy who loves to come out. Oh, I love the wordplay there, dude. Thank you, sir. Oh, God. Yeah, shake that man's hand. Holy shit. I loved how, like, calm and reaffirming that was, especially when there's, like, so many lyrics about, like, not understanding the feeling, you know, from the external as well as the internal. I wasn't really thinking about it until, like, halfway through where it's like, yeah, Cowboys, Gay, Brokeback Mountain. I was a teenager when that movie came out. It kind of added to the calm, it's okay energy throughout the song. Thinking about how much, like, queer media there is, especially when I was growing up, where it's, like, so tied to to death. I know there's, like, a term for it. There was something that kind of hit me there. While, yes, there is historical truth to that, right? There's something about it being so positive, reaffirming, gentle, kind, considerate, you know, including, you know, queer women in the conversation as well. That's very lovely. There's something about, at least for me gay and cowboy and then like healthy safety good i don't know like that it kind of hit me like halfway through settling into that and like kind of getting something to to balance out that feeling a little bit like was just super nice and i don't know i love just how kind of reassuring that was god this was the wrong one to start with i can't touch my face my allergies have been so bad just kind of reclaiming gay and cowboy a little bit it just kind of soaked in like how much pain those concepts create together right maybe it's because the title's so long like i thought this was gonna be a little a little sillier a little more fun a little more campy but no thank you for just like taking that time to include a note of safety you know the the blue grassy tones the cowboy visuals it was nice to feel something supportive with these things and god your voice is so velvet good Whew. Let's look at the lyrics. Out on the plains of West Texas, there's been a young boy who feels they he can't comprehend and a small town don't like it. Oh man, like that hits, dude. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and I relate to that a lot. The small town mentality isn't isn't just on one side of the uh, the May sticks, you feel? The Mason Dixon line, but I said it cool. I'm just trying to make myself laugh. There's a young boy who feels things he can't comprehend and a small town don't like it when somebody falls between sexes. And another part of it too, like we're hitting all the letters, right? I just, I just appreciate how 
encompassing this field. And his voice is really nice. Like, I'm sorry, it was so, like, soothing. It just took me to a place. We'll talk about his voice more as we go, I'm sure. Ooh. I If the one that sounded the most fun with Willie Nelson in it started to, like, kind of... I'm nervous about one with Dead in the title. Next is the official video for Dead of Night. Please be fun. Okay, is it weird that the mask is kind of hot? You wake me up, you say it's time to ride. Ooh, shit. The mask we fly. Ooh, shit. No! <sighs> They're asleep, right? Sir? Oh god, that gave me chills. It's enough to make a young oh, I like it. man. It's, just... it's so foreboding. Woo! God! Like that gave me chills. Dance on the pole, King. Oh shit. Oh, that's a dope shot. Shit. Can you give you the incredibly talented women at the Chicken Ranch, Nevada, where the West is still wild? Hell yeah! Shouting out the club and the dances. The Hell yeah. Okay. There was something so, like, haunting about it. As beautiful as the high note was, right? There was something about, like, how gentle it was, where it felt, you know, here's this isolated place where the dancing, the poles, I don't consider it taboo, but I feel like the general vibe would be, like, a taboo secret vibe i'm trying to figure out if that that like the softness on those highs is it the pain of keeping a secret is it the pain of change or of loss maybe all of it because there's also a part of me that's like well put those thoughts together your partner is gone and it, you're, you're you're mourning the relationship you're also mourning it in secret and then when you see other people out it brings back beautiful and tragic memories and then it also makes you worry what will happen to them i need to take a look at the lyrics but god your voice is so impressive like and it, it did like that note just gave me chills i i, I know i said it in the intro like 99 percent of my country understanding which is very small already is like things my dad would listen to and it really does feel like it it fits in with the the tragic somber heartbroken country i've listened to by osmo like it really does fit in there so nicely and i think that's what i love the most about this so far is like there's room for more voices and perspectives in that world and like you're you're so talented you're right by my side you wake me up say it's time to ride in the dead of night i feel like this is wordplay it could be about having a fast car in the dead of night but yeah i'm definitely getting a, a sexy but like somber sexy, like it's not, ooh, I want to dance to this sexy. It's like, it feels like reminiscing on a, a painful and simultaneously beautiful memory. It could just be seeing other people doing similar things the two of you did and like, oh, are they a couple? Are they doing this because like they also need the cover of night to express themselves? Whatever relationship I'm watching, I hope it goes better than mine it doesn't need to be the extreme of tragedy to still be a heartbreaking song it just it really gave me this feeling of like made me worry that someone passed but it, it could just be a breakup thing and, and maybe the boys that walk on by just remind you of you know six years ago you were younger with somebody else maybe it's being in the place maybe you're somewhere entirely different and the settings just familiar i think it's just this like haunted feeling being haunted by the ghosts of memories i just couldn't tell you if this is the ghost of a dead relationship or the ghost of the person having passed on there's something simultaneously peaceful as well as unnerving and i like kind of that 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 fog to move through i don't know i really love the vibe i loved how just lost in it i felt and how like you can't quite pinpoint what the specifics are but like that general feeling of uh, love and loss. I also like the wordplay of spend a Johnny's cash. Those highs almost felt like a, a pained whisper that I really liked, like kind of talking to yourself, but like trying to keep it low because it's still like really laid out and you know, your voice is going to echo. Or you don't want to wake somebody up. Like, I don't know. I just really love that feeling. That was fascinating. Next is Legends Never Die, the official video. Orville Peck and Shania Twain. I recognize that name too. <laughs> I don't want to ignore the other name but i also don't want to look like i know more than i do or i'm a bigger idiot than i am but yeah shania twain i've heard that 
before. I started this with I don't know much about country, but yeah, you can politely yell at me in the comments. It's fine. Legends Never Die, the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. Bill that's love never dies. It's about a masked man. We got this. All right. <laughs> Agreed. Ha! I love how that was shot. Mm, love your voice too. Ooh. Hello, arms. God, I love his voice. But like, she's got good grit. Hello. Howdy. Ooh, I love the Perseverance vibe. Hello, sir. God, his voice. Ooh. I really liked that. I liked a lot of the lyrics about like trailblazing. God, I loved how fun, especially the beginning of the music video was. Like he's about to sing and then Shania Twain shows up. Like, I don't know, I loved that. And it still had this like gravity to it as well of like, this road is hard. Everything I sacrifice, everything that I, I do to blaze my own trail, it's gonna pay off in the end. I built the road and walked it every mile. Yeah, it, it gives me this feeling of like, I could have gone an easier path and maybe I am playing on the meta of an out country star like i don't know it, it could have been easier to have like blended in more for lack of a better word despite its beautiful alliteration queer country is a, a harder thing to sell my path is gonna be harder but it's gonna be mine i'm gonna do things my way tm that's something i wrote no one else has ever said that ever <laughs> i loved in the visuals seeing people like start to kind of groove to the music enjoy it like the angel made me really sad the people listening to it right you can see them like you know whether it's you know to be the best plumber painter i'm trying to think of another p job <laughs> um <laughs> prostate examiner i'm gonna keep doing my thing i'm gonna keep following my path. This is who I am. Yes, it's going to be harder. That's what's going to elevate me to the the legend that never dies. That's that's going to make this stand out. This is important to me. It's important to other people wanting to inspire people. And yeah, I like I liked how kind of fun it was. I liked both of their voices. His voice is so soothing velvet good. It's like soup. Like I really love it. <laughs> Mass Daddy reminds me of soup. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> But I, I love that pocket. It makes me feel stupid for not knowing anything about Shania Twain. I'm sure there's a parallel there that I just don't know. And it also doesn't feel like the payoff is fame, success, popularity. It's I, I did this the way I wanted to do it. I have no regrets. I want that big climax, daddy. <laughs> Bill, stop. Enough. I want that big climax, but I also like that smoldering feeling because A, it's that perseverance that you keep feeling throughout the song. And also I like the notion of like, like my biggest achievement hasn't happened yet. Like it's still building, we're still rising. I like that feeling of like still building and building and building. Hey, I also really like this idea of it's a marathon, not a sprint. I think that's also in the DNA of this song. Their harmonies too were so good. I don't I don't want this to be like, oh, this song was disappointing. No, I was waiting for that big, but I'm, I'm starting to appreciate the lack of climax because yeah, we're still going. That's the whole point of the song. <laughs> the angel upset me. I, I hope that I hope that person just came from a costume party. Cause I was like, who died? <laughs> like, oh no, I'm distressed and sad. God, why did, why did I pick so many songs with death and dying in the title? <laughs> Next is hope to die. As in cross your heart, hope to die. Please, a love song, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. The official video for hope to die. Kiss? Yes, choreography, but oh no. West Virginia. The words I'd say. It's a strong image. Lost my heart, now I hope to die. Woo! Take me back to the world I know. Ooh, God. God, the visuals are really interesting. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, but I'm not allergic to that. <laughs> 
Yes, choreography! I wonder if that's really him. We'll never know. I really love it, though. Hello. Ah. What the hell? No, don't! Woo, sir! But, like, why were you shot? Like, it doesn't catch me as fun, sexy, uh, but the, uh, oh my god, I'm, mm. F in the chat for Mass Daddy. No, like, uh, I, but, I loved this kind of Western, but also like Golden Age musical kind of feeling in the music video. The dream ballet, if you will, he's alone. I, I'm gonna take it more as a, a breakup, heartbreak thing. I can't keep speculating if someone died in all these songs. I can't do that to myself. The choreography was solid. I loved the visuals. I loved the staging. Again, like an old school Western, like a Gene Kelly musical at the same time, especially the dream ballet sequence kind of moment. I'm starting to get mad at myself for mostly picking like heartbreak songs, which no context. So that's on me. So, you know, give me some suggestions if you want more. I also liked a lot of the imagery, like especially like him holding two ponies by the rain. It's like you're, you're outmatched now. You have the love in the past, the pain of the present. It really gave me the, the isolation of you're not here and I have to kind of keep living my life and having had and now have these feelings, right? I absolutely love the imagery in this. Take me back to the time I was yours and you were mine. Take me back to the words I'd say I had to whisper because you liked it that way. That's another interesting lyric that I liked when I heard it. They didn't have to hide who they were, which is what I'm just kind of taking away from it. Cross my heart, now I hope to die. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, I was yours, you were mine. Take me back to the words I'd say I had to whisper, but you liked it that way. Uh, never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. Cross my heart, now I hope to die. You're keeping... You're keeping his secret. You're keeping your ex's secret. So he was in the closet. I had to whisper because you liked it that way. Oh, hold on. No, I'm not a complete idiot. I'm half an idiot. Maybe you believed for a while that like, oh, well, you're just not big on PDA. Let's let's keep our private lives private. And then that kind of get gets recontextualized either in the fight or after the fight. Maybe that's it. And despite whatever happened, cross my heart, I'm not gonna tell anyone. That's not my place to out you. Just because we broke up, even if it was ugly, even if I was hurt, I'm not going back on my promise. Cross my heart, hope to die. Your secret is safe with me. You were crying, they don't cry where we go. Almost kind of feeling bad for him, or like it could be you're not gonna let yourself cry or you don't let yourself cry because of the secret nature of it all, or even an internal comment. I can't fully cry. I can't fully mourn this relationship because I can't talk about half of it. Cause I don't know, there's also a secrecy element there where it's like, well, if you were in a secret relationship, you know, you can't talk to someone about like a trip you took or a photo of the two of you. You might not even have one. Cut to my good luck babe theory from that video. God, the POV, right? The person singing also can't fully express the relationship, can't talk about where they were, who they were with, whatever, because then it'll start to yield information that they promised they wouldn't share. So maybe it's also stifling on the POV's end too. Like I can't fully talk about this, if at all. I would even argue to protect the other person not wanting to be outed, they've never told anyone they're in a relationship. So then it's like, well, now I just can't tell anyone why I'm so devastated and heartbroken. No one knew I was in a relationship because you, needed to keep it secret. You know what I mean? Which is fucking heartbreaking. Links in the description. I also appreciate that the song is on a meta level therapeutic too. Like here's something you can listen to to let it out. Here's a way for you to grieve it with me. I like that meta. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, and ending cross my heart now, I hope to die. It's, it's a sacrifice. It's an indefinite gift that you give to someone who broke your heart. I want this to end on an uplifting note. And the next one is, come on, baby, cry. Like, did I do something wrong here? All right. Come on, baby, cry. The official video. Ooh, I love that imagery. I can see the sadness in your eyes. Damn it. I know I didn't pick a happy song, but who? Ooh, sir. Fuck yeah, dude. Let it out while encouraging men to let it out. Let's go. Yo, fuck all of you. I will fight every one of you fuckers throwing things in this bar. Come on, baby, cry. Oh, 
shit. You're a sad boy just like me. Baby, don't deny. Yes, harmonies. I don't want you to be afraid. Ooh, shit. Ooh, your voice, dude. Fuck yeah. Come on, baby, cry. Well, now I feel pressured. It's making me not cry as much. Let me see you cry. Ironically, those notes are really soothing <laughs> and helping me not cry. <laughs> Let me see you cry. God damn it, I love it. It's so freeing, but like then cutting to the reactions and stuff and the anger at first too. Like my god. Come on, baby, but cry. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Ironically, drawing attention to me crying is helping me not cry. Like, the song is very self-explanatory. I love the freedom in your voice when encouraging, encouraging emotional honesty and expression like that. It's the, like, yes, like, let's absolutely destroying toxic masculinity. Seeing that the hostility of the, the other men at the bar throwing things, but then the support from the, the, the singers and stuff, right? I appreciate the feminine support in the face of masculine outrage. I wish I could relate to that. It was the freedom in his voice, man. Like, it really did. Like, it was so calming. Listening to it, thinking about it is making me emotional. Insert joke about y'all in the comments telling me like, oh, when's he gonna cry? Oh, I know he's gonna cry at this. Sometimes that pressure either from myself or jokes in the comments or whatever, sometimes it pulls me out of it. I start to feel myself get defensive and walled up. Instead, it just felt like I was soothed, so I, I didn't go overflowing. I love that, but the thinking about it is making me really emotional because, like, it's it's the way that, like, how free the voice is. Like, it's like, come on, like, it's okay. Let it out. Like, it's it feels good. It's therapeutic. It's helpful. You'll literally be a more well-rounded, healthier person don't don't let society tell you what to do with your fluids bro you know what i mean like it i just admire that a lot and i appreciate it and also like i i think too there's something about just like how strong and beautiful your voice is i think just like really adds something to that for me it makes me feel like i'm not less of a person when i get emotional just like how i'm not less of a person when i don't get emotional and i try to i try to remind myself of that of other people of that the the music choice is there like the music don't touch your eyes oh i can't touch my eyes there we go that makes it better <sighs> like it's just really validating and it's like thank you you know like i i really needed that and i don't know i hope it helps anybody express themselves let the the societal anger boo men don't do this br 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 like even letting that energy out you're staying here you're staying on target my battery died <laughs> damn it <laughs> I just, God, I'm, I've just been kind of looking at the lyrics. I, I can tell you're a sad boy just like me. I don't want you to be afraid. Let me see you cry. Oh, I got an hour or so. Take my hand and let it go. God, I got an hour or so. Like, just understanding it, too. Like, I don't know. It's not, hey, cry, and then, I don't know. I'm going to go. Like, I got an hour or so really hits, too. Like, the lyrics are just as warm and inviting. God, your voice, too. Like, I'll never get over that. I'll never get over how just open and wonderful your voice was right there in the chorus. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. There you guys go. Those are some of my thoughts on listening to the music of Orville Peck for the first time. Again, I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love more song suggestions. I just, God, I'm going to need some happy fun songs if we were to go again like ah oh, thank you for bearing with me like i said before country music isn't like my comfort zone so i don't feel like i really talked on like the the musical quality like i do with other genres because i'm just not that familiar with it i had a really great time checking out these songs i hope you had a great time checking out the video like subscribe gaming channel p.o box merch store that's all in the description next to a card they'll send you to social awareness mental health crisis lines trevor project resources things like that should you or someone you know need them i hope you enjoyed the video i hope to see you next time i upload a go live. I hope everyone's staying safe. Be mindful of others and remember to take care of yourselves, please.